Hello guys and gals, animal friends and spirit pals. Welcome to my channel channel. Thank you guys for joining me today. I always appreciate it when you watch my videos and when you participate with the channel in any way you're able to. It means a lot to me. You can also help this channel out by liking and subscribing. Those are the two really only ways I know <laughs> to uh, let YouTube know that they might want to uh, make my uh, channel and my videos available to more people. Because when they see you guys liking them and subscribing to the channel, then they feel like recommending the channel to others. So that always helps me out. And I want to move on up to 2,000 for one, from 1,000. I would have never made it to 1,000 without all of you. So I'm depending on you guys to help me get on to 2,000. Okay, today's video is a taped video, so no live chat. No live gathering. <laughs> you guys each will watch it in your own time, and it'll just be one-on-one -on -one between me and you. Uh, today's video is going to be a channeling from Pan. He asked me to uh, come on today, so we're going to do that. I don't know exactly what he wants to talk to you about, but we'll just look and see. I'm sweating a little bit because it's hot here. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Hello, um, greetings. Uh, this is the one called Pan. I'm so happy to see all of you here today. My beautiful brothers and sisters of the light, brothers and sisters of the earth. So happy to see you gathered here on this channel of like-minded souls. Uh, I did want to come through today and just share and talk with you for a little bit. Uh, I'd like for you to take a moment here to allow me to uh, interact with you individually as I look forward and see who's going to be joining me on this video. And I just want to click in with you one at a time. Those of you that are willing and that have been working with my energy, you know, on a personal level and calling on me to work with you and assist you in your progress and your own personal evolution. Go. So, I did want to say that, you know, things are progressing fairly nicely. Uh, by that I mean the plan of the Creator is progressing in, in a good way. Uh, now, sometimes the progression might not be as obvious to you on the Earth plane because sometimes it takes a little more time for the energy to come through in physical form, even though it's already strong and working and, and creating the physical form, it takes a little time for it to come through fully so that you're able to see it with your physical eyes easily and effortlessly. But it is progressing as um, it should. So uh, I know sometimes it feels like, well, this is taking a long time to uh, really shine the light on what's what's the best for all and what's not so good for all. But it's happening. And those that have been really bound and determined, willfully determined to prove in one way or another that there is no creator, there is no source of life, that uh, everything that comes around on the earth is created by humans without a connection to uh, that which creates all of life. And so uh, they're very dedicated to proving this at all cost. 
um, using fear, uh, lies, um, cheating, stealing, um, even killing, uh, anything it takes to prove what they feel is right and to uh, prevent others from seeing the truth. So they try to obscure it or obliterate it in some ways. And so there's been, you know, I'm going to call it still an emo, um, you know, a small group, a minority of the group of humanity that's dedicated to this purpose and are working <laughs> overtime to uh, make it real on the earth. The thing is, though, the majority of the consciousness of humanity sees that this is not the way to move forward. It is true that you all have free will choice and can do what you want. It's also true that uh, part of the rule there is that you must not seek to harm others. So when you're consciously seeking to harm others, that makes a big difference. Or even when you realize that what you're doing harms others, even if you weren't consciously choosing it, but once you realize it does and you don't change your way or you don't change the path or the approach, it's, it's the same difference. So this willingness to have what you want at all cost at the cost of the group, at the cost of the good of all, uh, at the cost of humanity realizing its true self, it really uh, won't work in the long run. Now, it can create all kinds of drama and, um, you know, um, like... Uh, you know, like a dramatic movie. It can create a lot of stuff that, and these guys can do really good with it, especially as long as the majority allows it to be. So in this time, it's important for all of you that believe in the truth and believe in living a life that serves yourself and all others concerned and believe that win-win situations are possible, that with the Creator, that working with Spirit, working with God, all good things are possible. You need to stand up for that and um, uh, speak up in a loud voice. You know, it's time for that majority voice that's truly looking for how can we express as God here on the planet. It's time to make that the, the dominant voice, to stand up in front of that hateful, uh, negative voice. You know, be louder. Say, nope, nope, nope. This is what we're focusing on. Uh, we're not even looking in that direction anymore. So it's really about you guys choosing it and using it for all to see. Here's a different way of living in expression. Look at this. My uh, desire was to serve myself to my highest good and also serve others to their highest good at the same time. And I trust that as I work with spirit, uh, it will guide me, assist me, and show me how to realize that here on the earth. Because really, it's the intention that creates um, the reality. Now, this is also a really good time and opportunity for you all to watch <laughs> how the powers of karma, as you like to call it, work. You can't put negative energy into the universe repeatedly, purposely, willfully, and uh, expect it not to come back to you. So it's true that what you put out comes back. And that goes for whatever it is. But when you're willfully dealing in fear, hate, uh, judgment, um, you know, shady behavior, lying, cheating, stealing, 
when you're willfully participating with that and just insisting on continuing to uh, push that out into the world, to use that as a representation of who you are and what you want to be, that's going to naturally attract that back to you. So right now, uh, here especially in the United States, most of that uh, negative group has uh, named themselves or gathered themselves in what you call the Republican Party. And so that just makes it easier to see where they are. And um, uh, and that's really where it springs from because there's still so many that have gravitated to that energy, that party, that still think um, their way is always the right way and we insist on you following it too, even though it obviously doesn't serve everyone. Still, choose our way because it serves us and we want you to serve us. So choose our way. But many of you are waking up and saying, you know what? I'll choose my own way and I choose to move forward with a higher purpose. I choose to put love into the world, to put joy into the world, to put co positive co-creation into the world, to put togetherness, to put oneness into the world. Health, prosperity, that's what I'm seeking to create here on the earth. One for all and all for one. A recognition that we all come from the same source and that source loves us all equally and seeks to express through us each and every one in a unique loving way. So in this time you get to look and you're gonna see as it comes to pass here in the next few months of how that constant willful projection of fear, loathing, hatred, you know, all those kinds of words just attracts it back on themselves. And in uh, one way, this downfall, this extinguishing of this uh, loud negative energy is being brought on by those that are spouting it out. So in, in that respect, uh, you don't really have to do too much to make this downfall come because they've already um, put the wheels in motion to come back on them and kind of mow over them. Because what you put out comes back. And you're going to get to watch this as you see one after another be held responsible for their actions. both held responsible in earthly terms and also in a bigger picture spiritual terms, um, metaphysical terms. Um, so paying deeply for your actions and it will come back uh, for those things that you think are the most cherished things. Uh, those things that you were willing to sacrifice others for, to sacrifice your soul for, to sacrifice your connection to spirit, to the Creator for. And that's what uh, so many of these individuals are going to demonstrate for the world to see. You know, it's out in front of the world. because um, their willfulness was out in front of the world to see. You know, they proudly displayed it for all to see. And so this um, antithesis of that is going to be displayed for all to see as well. And so it's a good thing to look at and realize for yourself that when you put forward uh, willful, negative, selfish 
wants uh, and projections, that will come back to you as well. Now, most of you or all of you that join me here wouldn't even, you know, contemplate that kind of thing. But uh, on maybe smaller levels, uh, you have been tempted to cheat or steal or lie or um, kind of say, well, I don't really care what happens to those people. They're kind of mean and nasty as long as I'm okay. You know, uh, it, it's still um, getting you to realize that in serving, serving others, you serve yourself. Serving yourself, you serve others. So you never want to forget that uh, interconnection. Now I also see as we're moving along here, it looks to me like a couple, at least, two of, you know, I'm going to call it the orange menace, <laughs> two of his um, minions or servants, as it were, um, devotees, uh, it looks to me like what's happening or what's coming to the forefront is two of them turning on one another in quite a public way, uh, bringing forth even more truth for all to see. Uh, but like um, a pretty dramatic, oh yeah, well I'll show you, you know, almost turning on one another um, in a dramatic uh, way, you know, kind of directing that nastiness to each other and in doing so exposing even more of the truth. So that's something I see is possibly coming forward here pretty quickly. As well as other people involved in that event here in the United States um, listening more carefully to their conscience and being talked into coming out uh, with the truth and realizing it's more important to stand up for all, stand up for love, stand up for peace, stand up for truth than it is to, to stand up for some party or some religious dogma or some um, tyrant and it looks like um, and in some cases afraid of what the consequences are looking like also in encouraging more people to come out with more truth so uh, you're going to be seeing some evidence of that as well now, uh, before we close here today, uh, I want you to take a couple of breaths with me, please. With your breath, allow yourself and your mind to get quiet your focus into your third eye, into the center of your forehead, so you're thinking, you're focusing, you're imagining that energy in your forehead as you breathe. Each and every one of you has your own specialized, unique team of spiritual co-workers that are there to assist and serve you, play with you, and work with you when you call on them. You came with that little um, extra add-on, you know. Now, I can't do a lot until you consciously ask it to and consciously join in the partnership, but it's right there waiting. So right now, I'd like for you to imagine with me, visualize, imagine, pretend that one of the members of your own personal private spirit team, let's call them, is going to come forward right here in front of you. 
It's going to be slightly different for each one of you. Just allow that energy to take form, take a presence right here in front of you. Now, um, these, those energies, those spiritual friends are going to be touching your third eye here. So each one is reaching out. They're right in front of you, tapping your third eye. When they do, it ignites it and lights it up. And it forms a nice, solid connection of light between you and your spirit team. And for those that are willing, you know, you can say, I am willing to embrace my spiritual team, my spiritual aspect, and I move forward in partnership, creating good for myself and all concerned. I embrace this partnership now. now allow that energy to move closer, embracing you, joining its energy with yours. Sometimes it can seem you're separate and yet you are one. Still right there, it's connecting with the heart center, it's connecting to the solar plexus, it's connecting to the third eye. Joining and blending with your own energy, with your own desires, with your own inspirations. All right, and um, let's give thanks and be grateful for the experience and for your spirit team stepping forward and working with you um, energetically and individually during this exercise. They're there for you whenever you want, all the time. The more you choose to consciously work and play with them, the more fun you'll have and the greater positive differences you'll find in your daily life. All right, my friends, I do thank you so much uh, for sitting here with us today, joining in this energy exercise and listening to me. I always appreciate it. And uh, I send love and joy to each and every one of you until the next time. So long. Okay. Hope you guys got something out of that. Uh, be sure to leave me a comment down there if anything you want to talk to me about or anything you want to say about that exercise or, um, you know, I could really feel that energy coming and embracing me and I just 
Wondered anybody else feel that? Or did you have any kind of sensations or thoughts that went through your mind during that exercise? It's always good to speak it out. And, you know, I read every comment and I always um, enjoy hearing, you know, your thoughts and your experiences. Okay, guys. Well, I hope that was fun. And uh, I'll see you again real soon. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>